happen. And we're, of course, even during the break, we just keep discussing. Let me read to you a very short phrase. I Googled this. And interestingly enough, I picked up the Federal Republic of the Philippines. It starts out, it breaks it down into a number of topics and issues. And this one is government. It's a two-sentence statement. The Federal Philippines means that a measure of the chief executive's power, like the control of tax revenues, designation of official languages, is devolved to the regions and provinces to allow them the freedom to effectively administrate themselves under the ultimate power of the central government. The regions and provinces are now organized into federal states, ideally created by ethnic lines and families, or what are called ethnic states. Now, let's go further. Mr. Uh, Jimenez, let's discuss, Dante, how do we go about the federal, let's, let's stay with Bicol. What, what do you, since, okay, if all of Bicolanos got together and created your own referendum or your own elections and say, hey, this is the way we want it, there is not very much the rest of the country can do. Of course, there is legislation and the constitution that needs to be achieved, but at the rate this is grow, going, with the Bank Samoro, they're ramming it down. I have a fear, I have a fear that the cha-cha might have to come into play, but for the wrong reasons. Sure, you have the economic reasons that some are saying. Then you have the federalism, which is really a priority for constitutional change. But the problem is, no, you know, you might want to stay again another six years. But with federalism, there will be no precedent. It will be a parliament, the strongest political party. So it be, it will be the LP. But then you have the local elections, correct? Ano mangyayari niya? You have your own legislators, for example. Pipili kayo ng isang executive. Siya yung padadala niyo sa national government. And then, 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 the local executive stays there. Sino pupunta sa national? Wala na. Okay. It's like this. Uh, our uh, charter, the proposed mm -hmm. charter that we did uh, six years ago, uh, states that uh, in the autonomy, no? this, uh, mm. talking of autonomy, yes. this federal form, because autonomy is... Uh, but it's a step there in federalism. Yes, yes, it's a second but, step. But uh, if we will refer to the Bicol Autonomy Movement Charter, it uh, just merely says that we're going to have a, uh, a governor general uh, that will govern the uh, whole, whole, region, yes. uh, whole region, and then we will retain the, the uh, governors, uh. we will retain the mayors, the vice mayors, etc. down mm. the line. It, it will be maintained that way. The, 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 uh, the uh, main uh, agenda there is the control of the finances, the funds. Uh, it will now stay with Bicol. Yes, Bicol. We say there in our charter, it's at 80-20. 80, 20. 80 uh, goes, stays with Bicol, 20% goes to the, the national. national for defense, for foreign policy, for mm. currency, etc. That's the only reason you have a national government. Yes. So. 20% uh, uh, goes to the national government, 80% goes to us. Mm. Okay, it's retained, it's retained to us. Now, that is on the uh, fa financial aspect. On the natural resources, it will be controlled by the Bicolanos. 100%? Yes, all, uh. the, all this mining uh, problem in Camarines Norte, mm. in uh, Albay, mm. in Camarines Sur, Catag all this will be controlled by the regional government, mm. by the Bicol autonomy. Uh, for the good government. of Bicolanos. For the good of Bicolanos. Like, for instance, our energy. We, as I said a while ago, we have two big geothermals, which mm. has about a uh, total of 400 megawatts. Okay, na kayo, by now, itself. Yes, Bicol now has, all, has uh, only a requirement of 200 megawatts. And we could sell the 200 megawatts to the nearby regions. Correct. Hindi naman po matakaw or mas uh -huh. selfish ang Bicolano. But of course, we will have to make sure that the, the, the electricity that, uh, is, that will be sold to the, uh, to the consumers, in Albay particularly, we have about 180,000 uh, uh, consumers. It will be lesser. It mm -hmm. will be cheaper. And if we have cheaper energy, I tell you, the, you'll uh, the attract business. companies will go there. Yes. Jobs will be there. Uh, instead of Bicolanos going to Manila, going abroad, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So that is the, th these are the two major points. The rest will be all the same. Mm. And uh, all these, uh, re these governors will just have a rotation who will be the regional uh, governor general, something like that. So, mm. in other words, uh, my dear friends, 
this, this is the autonomy now. Let's go to federal. Mm. Our concept of federal government is similar to the Canadian government. In Canada, in Canada they have parliamentary federal. Mm. They, they have the parliamentary to legislate. legislate Wala ng Senado, Congress na lang. Oo. Oh. National Congress. Yes. And then, and dyan po yung representation also by, with, by the federal state. Mm -hmm. May mga senators din sila. Mm -hmm. Hindi, what, what's happening now is not. Oh, iba. A senator here, sometimes mm -hmm. you don't have a representative uh, from Mindanao. Correct. Is there now a... There is no clear... Except, of course, now we have... Pimentel. Uh, but come on, this guy did not uh, grow correct. up in Mindanao. Tsaka walang, There's no Muslim senator. Yeah, walang, walang representation. There's no Cordilleran eh. senator. Uh, correct. There are, you know, all these mm. various groups are not well represented in Senate. Correct. Who are the senators? Karamihan pa nga dyan, Bicolano eh. But uh, they did not grow up in uh, Bicol. Uh, they are Manila boys, like yeah. Trillanes, like Onasad, all of them. No, because it's populist. Because they are popular... And emotional votes came into play. Now, Harry, let me give you an example mm. of why Lee Kuan Yew. You know Lee Kuan Yew, the uh, former mm. Prime Minister of uh, Singapore, the father of Singapore, mm. my idol. Mm -mm. You know what he said when he was asked by an author? author he was asked, why is it that uh, you did not choose the presidential form of government for Singapore? He said, you know, in presidential form of government, you just your show your face in television, you are always in media, you always talk, talk, talk. But in parliament system, you will prove yourself worthy of your position as a parliamentarian. You will defend your position. You will be debating with these people, with all this, par with all this member of parliament, and you will really, uh, if you will be uh, on the top of, the, uh, of, the, of all of them, then you will become the prime minister. You will grow. Unlike here, if you are an actor, you are know, an artista, you are an entertainer, you have a, you are a basketball player, etc., etc. Or your mother dies. Or your mother dies. <laughs> or your mother dies. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, but you haven't uh, proven yourself in the Senate. In Congress, how many bills have you passed? Correct. So this is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. So I say, uh, again, Harry, with sincerity, I'm already 62 years old. I don't hide my, my, uh, my age. Let us change this kind of uh, presidential form of government which has practically failed. Mm. That's what you said. Failed. Failed the Filipino people because look at what's happening now. Sorry to say, the Chinese are now controlling the economy of our country. Filipino Chinese. They have very good intentions. But look, the rich are becoming more richer. The poor are becoming poorer. Yeah, it's normal. Going to the bank, Samoro, at the rate they're pushing it, especially the president, in spite of its unpopularity, media is pushing that to change that perception that it is well on its way. Diba? In media, it, if you read all the newspapers, parang kala mo, paandar na, dudu na yung Bangsamora. In fact, it was on one of the major TV channels about a week, two weeks ago, as if they're already inaugurating the actual Bangsamoro uh, entity, which it's not. It's still being debated. Now, Kung magkamali ang Bangsamoro at pumasayan, at kung pumasayan, hindi ba halos yun na rin yun? Am, am I correct? Yun na yun eh. Federalism na yun eh. Uh, you know, I have a hindi copy. na natin sinundan. Okay, I have a copy. Oh. Ito yung uh, their uh, proposed bill of uh, 4994. Yeah. This is uh, you have it. Yeah, yeah, you I have, have it pala. I have a full copy of this. Uh. And I tell you, now, uh, one of the major problem here, is the defense and security. Oh, nga, Section 15 own. Uh, of uh, this act. It says, this defense and security of the Bank Samoro shall be the responsibility of the central government. However, the central government may create a Bank Samoro command of the armed forces of the Philippines for the Bank Samoro and preferably to be manned by Bank Samoro uh, people, Silaren, inhabitants. Uh, so, in other words, our military when I ask some of them, my, who are my friends, senior officers and retired officers of the military, they are not very secured with this kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, write-up of the Ferrer, Ferrer and Company. I tell you, they, this will really, uh, this is being studied by the military. And I fear and I hope and pray that the, the military will not intervene because this is a political exercise. But mind you, kayo mga politiko dyan sa Congress at sa Senate, House of Representatives and Senate, 
be careful because if you if you uh, if you uh, uh, frame up a law that would uh, disturb the uh, tranquility of the armed forces of the Philippines as a unit united armed forces then that's a big problem remember in federalism there is only one armed forces the national government the national government uh, correct that's the way it has to be but it seems the ones pushing this we have an inept congress at this point who have no position and cannot seem to hold back the dictatorial tendency of the administration and so it seems now the high, the sad part we have the senate inquisition while it's ongoing against binay the rest of congress i mean look at the senators you have three incarcerated <laughs> you've got the Senate President himself now being hit for plunder. You've got three of them that are going after the alleged next perceived president to be. It's in total disarray. The Paparang going nowhere. But if the president, which he is doing, still ramming down to us where the Bank Samoro is going, this is already going to be an opening for something bigger. Now, what you're saying is be careful because don't mess up the tranquility and the balance of power which is really the military yes i'm not sure if that's a threat or, or if that's an insight or what dante jimenez is telling me learn harry educate yourself these are the these are the pressure points where it's coming from so the word here is beware correct me if i'm wrong that's right that's right harry Let, let's go into the issues of federalism let's go back to that how would you control your oligarchs? Okay, first of all, if we change our form of government and have a new constitution that will be federal in nature, then we will be defining finally what has not been defined by the 1987 constitution, which is prohibition of political dynasties. So, kailangan mo na Well, you see, in the federal government that we'll be having, it will be defined practically there will be no like the be nice like the villa fuertes like the uh the Bicol, like uh, all other fa family uh who have been are known to be dynasties in the philippines so i think it is high time that uh, we put a, an end to political dynasty and let, we, let this be defined well in the new federal form of government because the as we, as 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 uh mayor duterte have said he said a centralized form of government leads to neglect of the areas far from the seat of power. There is Correct. inequality, he said. And I quote, this is the reason why he's supporting a federal type of government. And so we also in Bicol region, One. If, uh, if, if need be, we will uh, divert from autonomy without to federal. Because that's the bottom line. There are already very good experiences like Canada. Germany, mm. oh my God, these are successful countries now, mm. and uh, I hope and pray. Even in Malaysia, our neighboring, mm. uh, our neighboring country, Malaysia is a federal state. How would you control this? If we were to go into a constitutional change and revamp everything, which is obviously necessary, paano kung pumasok si Pinoy at gusto niya maging presidente, piliti niya, and then extend term? We will never see federalism. Well, I think... Uh, because of the LP, the Liberal Party is a problem. That's why the problem now, we talk of 2016, are again personalities. I think we have now to divert uh, the issue more on the system. The system must now be the priority of, for 2016. Whether the people would, really would like to uh, change the form of government from, presi from presidential to parliamentary federal. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to take a short break, but obviously when Mr. Jimenez says we change, it's quite simple. The presidential system has failed. So I guess the only other option has to go on federal. Stay with us. We'll be right back and conclude the many issues and why we have to go in this direction.